On. It is Master Wolf here. Welcome to a very, very short Clash of Clans video. So there has been a new update, but it's probably not an update you were thinking or expecting. It is the Product Red update from Clash of Clans, which is absolutely awesome. A massive shout out and respect to Supercell for this. They are definitely one of the best companies out there uh, when it comes to giving, paying taxes, and also these charity stuff. So what is Product Red. Let's go in and have a look, see what they've done. Uh, and basically, Product Red is also giving money to fight AIDS, I believe. Uh, let's double check that. So you can see the barbarian here uh, has dyed his hair and his mustache all red. And when we go onto it, uh, the Clash of Clans logo has red around it uh, in the kind of commas. Uh, commas, sorry, not the commas. Uh, with the little red kind of thing, and the barbarians have the red hair, which is absolutely awesome. It's little touches like this that show how much this game uh, can do to people and just shows how much respect they have. And what you can do now, if we go onto the news, is Product Red, Chief, support Red's fight against AIDS. Clash of Clans has partnered with Product Red in the fight for AIDS-free generation. You can participate by buying the pile of gems Red from the game shop. 100% of proceeds goes towards the Red's fight against AIDS, which is absolutely awesome. So when you come onto the store, uh, Minor Blood Out, I think it's, the, it's literally just come up the update, so they might not be ready yet. Uh, you can purchase a pile of gems, a pile of red gems. Uh, a transaction is pending, apparently. So that is absolutely awesome, guys. Go on there, buy some gems. Now you don't have to think, oh, I'm wasting money on gems. You are giving to charity. You're helping saving lives by buying gems. What could be better, right? Uh, and it's only $4.99, or about, I think that's about £2.99, uh, and you get some gems, which is awesome. So what can we use those 500 gems on? Uh, well, you can use them on lots. We can use them to upgrade one wall, which isn't amazing, but uh, we're giving to charity. So every charity we upgrade uh, from now on is basically going to give one uh, bag of stuff. There we go. That is $5 pretty much uh, to Product Red. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please do hit the like button down below. Show the support for Product Red. Show the support for Supercell, Clash of Clans, and the whole fight against AIDS um, battle that we are all on. And it does affect everybody. Um, you probably know people, your relatives, your parents might know people, you know, and it, it's such a good uh, fight to do. So please do do that. Comment down below as well if you are buying gems. What do you think about this idea that you get the gems and you're giving to charity? I think it's awesome personally, and I think it's a really touching thing, thing for Clash Clans to do at Christmas. It's not quite the Christmas update that we were expecting yet, but I'm sure that's coming very, very soon as well. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. What's going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to a new Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be doing the Barbarian King and and Archer Queen Healer Raid. So I've done the Barbarian King Healer Raid, I've done the Archer Queen Healer Raid, and now we're merging them together, and we're gonna be having the Royal Couple Healer Raid. Now also, a cool thing about this is I can obviously hold more troops now, and my healers are maxed since my last video where they weren't, and I could only hold like 15. I can now hold 19 healers, including my clan castle. So this is gonna be an insane raid, and it also means I can go back, do some of my old raids, and redo them. Uh, for you guys here. So tell me in the comment section down below what raids you would like to see coming up very soon uh, What kind of fun ones what different ones etc etc. We are currently in masters one We were in champions, but I literally dropped down today um, So this is going to be a very high level raid and this is going to be super super hard The reason I say that uh, with a few supers there is because everybody at this level have inferno towers and inferno towers block healers so healers won't do anything so we've got to try and miss the uh, inferno towers or find a base that doesn't have one so Let's get on down and let's go and raid and let's find somebody that we may be able to one star. So I think we're probably going to be looking for like a 50% base. I mean, that, that's quite good for us. The reason this one's quite good uh, is that we could go and attack it and, you know, the, the infernos are quite far away. But we're going to go have another hunt. We're going to see if there's one that where we can get a lot more done. This one, ooh. We could try this one and see if it'll work. Um... No, come on, we can find something better than that. Let's find something. I'm really looking, actually, if I had to find something right now, I'd be a Town Hall 9 without Infernos would just make me so happy. Alright, we're going to attack this one from the left-hand side. I know that sounds weird, uh, but that is what we're going to do. So, first of all, we need to spawn it on our Queen, our King. We're going to spawn healers on both sides, because the healers are the worst troops ever. They do not follow what you want them to do. Uh, so let's throw them in. I'm going to throw a jump spell in there. I've got a couple of jump spells with me. Uh, see what I mean? Look, the healers have, have picked who they want to follow, and they're going to follow them to the death. Uh, so we, we've thrown in a jump spell, but nobody's using it. Jump in there, king. All right, he doesn't want to jump in there either. Uh, so hopefully the queen will go in. The king's starting to lose a lot of health, actually. So we're going to uh, rage, uh, rage him up, get him going. 
Uh, we're going to drop a free spell on that expo there. And we're going to let the king... It's going all the way around, and he's actually doing quite a good job, to be fair. He's doing all right. Um, so, he's hopefully going to break in. The queen is pushing as well. Uh, she's getting some damage done on that expo. The expo's now dropped. I'm going to drop the rage in there, and I think I'm going to wait, actually, for my queen. She doesn't need to be raged up yet. She's still doing really, really well. I want to wait, actually, until the queen is close to the... Um, to the infernos and then i'm gonna use it on that but looks like the king has died it's only the queen remaining come on queen you can do it show us what you're made of um right so these troops are going to come and take on the queen now which is going to be problematic for us so we're going to uh rage her up as soon as they get near all right let's rage her up and hopefully she will go for the dragon she's going to drop the dragon the dragon's gone in a second no he's going to take out all my healers Oh my god, my healers have all dropped. My queen is down. And that is the end of that raid, guys. That is super, super hard in Up in Masters 1. And it is never going to work. I can't remember what we got it last time. Uh, but for when we do the next healer raid with the king and just with the queen, uh, which will be in a few, uh, probably in a week or so, I will drop down and do it at a lower level. Because when you get these guys up at Town Hall 10s in Masters 1, Champions, whatever, it is super hard. But I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. That was a good challenge to do. Uh, please do hit the like button down below. Let's see if we can get this up to 2,000 likes uh, and also comment what raids you want me to do. But until then, have a great weekend. Peace out.